and with a click of the fingers we're at the top of the line and we arrive at the stop board uh, the stop board is there to stop the trains proceeding onto this newly laid section let's just take a walk up the line and we'll go as far as the first signal where we can see round the corner to Chilcompton Tunnel if you bear with me and now just stood by the whistle board with the stop sign just down there in the distance and the newly placed distance signal just up here the lads have done a tremendous job Ben Pinkham Brendan Hill Phil Jones Alan Price Andy Chapman Barry Patworth and many more names let's go and have a look at this all this work that they've done and if you look round you can see the railway line opening up into this beautiful countryside look at that isn't that gorgeous this is the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway is now alive so let's take a walk up here you can see the track is a little bit wonky but what they'll do is they'll straighten that out they're just fixing the road railer at the moment because it's burst a vacuum pipe but this is truly amazing I don't know what to say and there we go in the distance really less 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 than quarter of a mile away is Chilcompton Tunnel I think the aspirations are is to have another platform at the end of here and run trains from a A to B points providing a service for people in Chilcompton to use I would imagine the railway would have some concessions towards those residents uh, possibly allowing them to use the railway at maybe a discounted rate I think that's an excellent idea and I'm sure the people of Chilcompton are going to enjoy this little link down to the town of Midsummer Norton and there we go the boys have been working really hard I don't know what to say I really don't know what to say look at that wow and if you want to come and see this for yourself if you go to Midsummer Norton station you follow the wildlife trail and there's a path that leads all the way up the side of the track where you can get some lovely pictures of uh, Andy Chapman in his sentinel and there's a sign one can only assume that's getting ready to go up the end of the line obviously it can only work that far because Chilcompton tunnels blocked in but who knows what the future is going to bring and there we are in literally just another two minutes I could be at the mouth of Chilcompton tunnel and search the internet for some beautiful images of 8Fs and 9Fs exiting the tunnel on various passenger trains and good trains and there are some photographs from 1966 when this line was closed of some of the last trains exiting and entering the tunnel and there we go there we come to our final bit of line that's been laid presently it's that bit there now folks this is history in the making this is the final sleeper that's been presently laid and I'm just going to walk up a tiny bit further this is the track bed which is going up to Chilcompton tunnel the tunnel is literally there at the end of my finger no more than let's say four or five hundred yards and then we can probably have a passing loop for passing engines and the trains go back down to the station this is going to double the time of the journey and double the excitement by a thousand percent anyway thanks for uh, watching my video and you can like us on Facebook 
we are the Somerset and Dorset Railway at Midsummer Norton. We would appreciate your comments and we'd love to see you. This is Sean Dudden, Head of Train Ticket Inspection and also I work in the Vehicle Restoration Department. Thank you for watching my video. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.